Hello, uh, my name is Dave Casuto from San Francisco Computer Tutors, and uh, in this exercise we're going to show you how to do a spell check in Dreamweaver. Okay, we all need that, so that should be very beneficial for you. Not just Word can do that, but uh, Dreamweaver can do that for you too. So stay tuned how to do that, and it's easier than you think. In this video tutorial, we're going to show you very quickly how to do a spell check on your website. All right, it's pretty, pretty simple. You come up to text, and way at the bottom it says check spelling. And notice there's also a shortcut if you're doing this pretty often, and that's Shift F7 to do that. So I'm going to click on Check Spelling, and it says Dreamweaver is reaching the end of the document. Do you want to continue? Sometimes it'll say that, and you say yes, and it'll basically go through all the things within your document. Say, all right, it's looking at videography, and I can either do Ignore, Change, Ignore All. So if you're familiar with Microsoft Word um, or any of these other edit of, um, word editing programs, you can go ahead and um, uh, you'll, you'll see that it's very familiar. So let's go ahead and click ignore on this one because that's the word that I want to use. And then here's something, oh I misspelled talent. So in this case I'm going to go ahead and change the talent with two L's to one that they're suggesting. I click change and then here's another one that says okay this I misspelled create. So now they didn't actually guess it the first time so I'm going to select it then uh, the next one and I'm going to say uh, change. So I can also have the option to change all things that are misspelled, I can ignore them all, um, or I can just ignore that one um, personally. Um, and then I can also add to personal where I'm going to actually add this particular word to my dictionary. So whenever um, I, I have it misspelled in there, um, Dreamweaver will basically ignore it. So I'm going to go ahead and change this, and it tells me it's complete, and then we're done. Well, that concludes our exercise on uh, creating, uh, do it again. Mm -hmm. So that concludes our exercise on using Dreamweaver's spell check function. Hope you enjoyed that and saw how easy that was. Once again, my name is Dave Casuto from San Francisco Computer Tutors. Um, you can look me up on Yelp.com under San Francisco Computer Tutors and uh, contact me for any kind of information you like. All right, thanks.